I'm going to start off um, by just telling you a little bit of information about Gestalt therapy. And um, what is important to know is that it was originally developed by Fritz Perls and Laura Perls, who was um, his wife, in the 1940s. It was really a reaction to the psychoanalytic approach, um, which many theories that developed during this time frame were reactions to the psychoanalytic psychoanalytic approach. That's not so easy to say. Um, and so um, Pearls had very, the, both the Pearls had very different ideas about how we should be working with people and what would lead to healing, growth, and change. So the Gestalt approach is an existential and phenomenological approach that is focused on the here and now. Um, it's also holistic in that it is concerned with the functioning of the whole individual, body, mind, and soul. And I think this is one of the things that really differentiates Gestalt therapy and certainly Gestalt play therapy from a lot of the other approaches. So when Stacy and I talk um, a little bit later about that, is like I think that you'll really get a sense of that. I would really just want to stress the fact that it's about the here and now. So it doesn't matter what brought them into therapy in the first place. That really has nothing to do with what's going on in the session in the room right then and there. It's really just about what you're feeling or what the sense that you're getting from the child or what they're telling you right then and there in the moment. But it's it's really tough work that you're that you're getting getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. So helping children deal with their issues or their like emotions like anger, it's not something that you can really sit with easily. Yeah. So yeah. you have to really be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So basically it says that the therapist doesn't enter the relationship as an expert. And again, um you know, one of the things that I think is really important is giving that up to the child. Mm -hmm. So frequently when I'm in a situation or doing supervision um, with some of my um, supervisees who are working to uh, on their play therapy is uh, we, I frequently suggest or myself use uh, the t uh, an expression with kids where I'll say, well, you're the expert on X, mm -hmm. you know? So um, just the other day, a kid was talking about Minecraft and I really don't know all that much about <laughs> Minecraft, even though I have a 12 year old son who's tried to teach me a little bit, um, but I'm certainly not, uh, don't have the expertise mm -hmm. that my play therapy um, client did. And so as he's telling me about the game and he's just beaming with yeah. pride about all that he knows, I'm just going to illuminate that. Wow, you're like the expert on Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to give that up, not just about things that the child truly knows more than you about, but that the child truly knows more about themselves than yeah. you do also. Mm -hmm. You set the stage in terms of setting a healthy environment where they can come in contact with themselves um, and their environment. And this is like really about that um, kind of acceptance piece wherein they can um, not we're just accepting them as who they are but they are accepting themselves as who they are so children also become more whole as they become more aware of their emotions so helping them understand their emotions that they're feeling you know that is where some of the work really comes through and then the creative and projective t techniques found in gestalt therapy are essential in making that happen yeah